Yeah. I now invite Rita Vidyadana. As I have earlier mentioned, she's a very senior columnist and former editor of Jakarta Post. Welcome, Rita. And please share your thoughts on why media should think gender. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Bobby, could you uh, uh, thank you very much for this opportunity, Soba and Bobby, for allowing me to share with our friends here across the Asia and the Pacific. So um, I, I would like to thank uh, everybody um, for uh, doing a great job like Kalpana, Maitri, Judy and others. And I'm sure uh, everybody here uh, have their own story. So I think I, I would not uh, uh, go through all my uh, presentation because I, so well, may I uh, just invite uh, I, I just go through a part of my presentation and invite uh, all of my friends here to share their experience uh, because I really want, this is a, a rare opportunity to be able to come together. So I really want to hear uh, what is going on from PNG, from uh, Bangladesh, from uh, Thailand, from uh, uh, India, of course, uh, and from other country uh, to share their experience and to 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 have a, a heated conversation on on this issue. Thank you. Okay, uh, uh, my point here is uh, I want to uh, share with you is uh, under the theme "Be the Change" and why think genders. Uh, we are a game changers. We have the power to influence others, and we have oh, long before uh, uh, social media influencers. We are a great influencers, I think, uh, uh, as a journalist, because we have the power to influence others. We, we have the power to change people's perception on certain issue certain uh, issue. So as a journalist and writers, by being gender sensitive, we can improve our journalistic and literary works as well as uh, the, right, the direction we take. Uh, next, Bobby. Okay, why should I ever mention gender? Kalpana and other speakers have already uh, described why should we uh, think about gender uh, how the media uh, should adopt gender uh, equality, uh, gender uh, uh, freedom, uh, gender balance, and so forth. Because gender equality is uh, an integral part of our freedom of expression. As a gender category have the rights to be heard and to be seen in the public sphere as full-fledged citizen participating in a democratic society. And therefore, Gender ba balance is important in our news reporting and writing. Equally important is the need to challenge the prevailing gender stereotypes. This is very uh, uh, important because live, we live, mostly we live in the, uh, uh, in the Asia and the Pacific region under strong patriarchy uh, culture where stereotypes prevailing in every aspect of our life. So. This is uh, as a journalist and writers, we were to recognize the diversity of race, ethnicity, religion, sex, ability, age, and class. So our work will, sell, will strive to eliminate discrimination of this basis of gender from their perspective, perspective publication and pledge to put more effort to provide more balance, fairness, and accuracy in our reports. So we have to be inclusive by seeking a diversity of voices rather than really solely on use, uh, unusual make dominant sources. Bobby? So gender, greater gender awareness means better journalism and writing. Because we are journalists and writers, we work with words and concept. Words is our weapons. Word is our tool. 
words and concepts are the production tools of journalism, journalists and writers. By applying concept and words, we execute our responsibility to the public and individuals by ensuring their right to information, which is a fundamental right that contributes to the well-being of the society. So when we increase our knowledge and use of words and concepts, we achieve greater awareness. Our awareness leads to sensitivity, which will bring a new and fresh perspective at any subject matter we write. Citing example, if we are aware of the needs of people with disabilities, people living with HIV AIDS and, and HIV AIDS and others, we can write news and writing pieces on the subject and by raising awareness of the public on this issue. And therefore we can contribute to paving the way for improving condition and for better policies and legislation. Gender issue can be found in both conventional and new areas of journalism and writing. Stories about the effect of climate change on people, especially women and children. Stories on how COVID-19 pandemic affecting people as well as stories on how the present global health system fail us are among the most read and most watched news. So gender concepts are found in all aspects of our life, including journalism, good governance, health system, education, economic, political sectors. So when, we, when the concept of gender is fully understood by us as a journalist, society will become healthier and more equal. But can we really achieve this? Yes, I'm emphasizing of language in our works because language is a reflection of the attitude behavior within our social society. It also shape people's attitude. So our words, our writing is very important. As a journalist, writers, as well as gender advocates, policy makers, and the broader public, we are expected to use gender sensitive language in our communication. So I think uh, I have to stop here because we can start uh, opening uh, our open discussion by sharing your experience, how you uh, challenge the stereotypes in your organization in every country and how can we uh, eliminate any stereotypes? So I think uh, it is very important for us to learn from each other and to uh, bet, build better uh, media landscape in the Asia Pacific, Pacific region in particular. So uh, the discussion by maybe sharing uh, experience uh, by uh, our participants here, uh, especially from uh, Ferris so and Bobby. Uh, for other uh, material, uh, you, can, you can read in uh, my presentation, but the most important thing is uh, we have live discussion. Uh, we have uh, 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 insightful discussion uh, among each other. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rita, for uh, again, stirring the conversation once again. Uh, there is a question for you from Asma Akhtar. Uh, how can we include gender equality in media ethics? And uh, how can we inculcate it in media ethics? The concept of gender equality. Thank you for the question. This is very important because gender equality is a, a really uh, a human rights. Uh, is, uh, we, we have to include every gender perspective in our newsroom, our ethical as a journalist, we see how uh, 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 a gender is manifested in our works.
Is that Hello. Yes, 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 I can hear you. Yes. And uh, there is a question from, uh, uh, just a moment, there is a question from uh, uh, Vakuki from uh, Thailand, and she wants to know, what do you mean by gender sensitive language? Uh, can you give some examples of gender sensitive and compared to gender insensitive language? Oh, okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Vakuki from Thailand. Uh, I think we have a uh, a uh, very uh, many many phrases in our local language that is gender insensitive, uh, but gender sensitive language is a gender equality made manifest through our language. Gender equality in language men and those who do not confirm the binary gender system are addressed to language as person of. So I think like uh, I can I can I can uh, 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 give you an example. Like people always refers that uh, the company directors is always male, and secretary is always a uh, 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 women, a uh, girls. Uh, pilots is so pilot is always a uh, uh, man and flight attendant is always women. So there are many, many, like, you don't cry like a girl, that is insensitive gender uh, language. Uh, and then uh, you, you walk like a woman, means that you work like a, a lady when you refer to a man who, who is so, uh, 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 referring to a man, weak man, so you work like a woman. So woman here is referred as a weak person, weak individual. That is gender insensitive language. And we, we always hear every day in our life, right? Uh, don't throw a, a stone like a, like a girl. Don't cry like a girl. It's just gender insensitive language. And we, uh, as a journalist, we have to avoid that kind of insensitive language, Spikey. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rita, there is a request from Nahid Khalid. Yeah. And she, she says that uh, in her long experience of lifetime as breaking glass ceiling and surviving and thriving as media in Indonesia, can Rita please share some tips for female media to not lose hope and keep on going? Oh, yes, of course, yes. Uh, thank you, Nahid. Uh, for your question. This is uh, uh, very true to me and I hope also very true to our uh, colleagues uh, also. Okay. Uh, because uh, we as uh, women journalists have to work harder in Indonesia, harder than our male colleagues. And we have to equip with knowledge every day every day so we have to be able to 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 uh, stand equally with them so it's, it's very challenging for us also to prove ourselves we have to prove our uh, accomplishment we have to prove our achievement uh, but don't give up uh, now uh, i am here now after 35 uh, years in journalism and i'm very proud to be uh, able to continue forging uh, for uh, women gender equality in the newsroom, uh, for women journalists to train women journalists in Indonesia to be able to uh, to uh, to have uh, their capacity uh, improve, so they can uh, be proud of themselves and never give up because uh, we are women have the capability have the capacity uh, same. Uh, opportunity to be able to 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 equally respect it as accomplished journalists. So I think uh, don't give up on uh, on that. And but also don't forget to also to keep improving your capacity as a journalist, as a writer, as an editor, as an advocate, as a general advocate, and so forth. So I'm very proud. Uh, to see so many uh, Indonesian female journalists now, uh, are now being able to uh, stand up uh, for their uh, passion 
as a journalist. Thank you, Nahid. Yes. Thank you. And we are all together in this with you, Rita and Nahid, uh, to just advance this still more. And we can do it together. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. yes, exactly, Soba. Like yes. Soba, you are great. No, 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 no. Thank you.